internet. It has been like three months. Yeah, I want to say three months since I last made a video for you lovely folk. Since I last made a video, I auditioned for Fiddler on the Roof. I made it to the callbacks, but I didn't get into the show, which is kind of a bummer, but it just means that I have more time to work during the summertime so I can save up more money and hopefully sell my car, Gajira, so that I can get a more affordable car, gas-wise. Because I'm an adult now. My sister turned 20 a few days ago. My brother turned 13 about a week and a half ago, which is really weird to think about because whenever I think of him, I think of him as like this little tiny five-year-old or something. And it's weird to think that he's 13 now because he might start wanting a girlfriend or something, which is just gross, icky. There was a pen pal that I sort of met, I guess, from um, Carrie Hope Fletcher's videos. She commented on one of her videos, and I made a comment back, and then we started talking. And now we've been talking for like eight months, I want to say? Yeah, that sounds about right. And it seems to be going pretty well. The conversation is flowing really cool. And I think it's just really cool that YouTube and the internet and like, just the whole community of the hopefuls can come together and do something like that be nice to each other. I've decided that I want to try to go on a hike or do something physically active in nature once a week, at least once a week, because the sun is out and I want to... Ah, there's a bee! I want to join in on the fun of that. I've never been stung by a bee before, internet, and I don't want that to be today. Am I standing underneath a... I was really worried I was standing underneath a beehive or something. I don't see one, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Yeah. Okay, internet. I made it one of my unofficial New Year's resolutions to finish at least 10 books this year because I've been putting off reading and I haven't done it in, Lord knows, probably over a year previous to this year. Meaning, reading a new book, not reading a book that I'd read before and I just wanted to pick up and read again. So I was like, okay, I can just handle 10 books, that's fine. I'm on my ninth one now, and my next one I imagine won't take very long. And so I've decided to up my ante and make it 20. If I can make it to 20 books, my pledge to you now, by September, no, let's make it October for more funsies. I will up my ante to 30 books. I'll read 10 more books. Yeah, so I'll have three months to read 10 more books, which old me could handle no problem. High school me could handle no problem. But me of present just needs to find a way to prioritize my time better. Because most of my free time spent nowadays if I'm not reading a book is watching Netflix, playing around on my iPod, looking at stupid websites for vintage clothes because that's what I do. Or playing Pokemon, I think. I just got an ins- Okay. The other exciting thing that I can't believe I failed to mention to you, I now own an N64 again. The console of my childhood is now in my possession again. We only have three games, GoldenEye, Pokemon Snap, and Pokemon Stadio, which is pretty cool. And we've been trying to play Pokemon together, and we're collecting up our Pokemon together and battling. And I was really starting off at a disadvantage because he started off with Squirtle, and I started off with Charmander, and his Pokemon were generally higher level than me. But I managed to scrape by, get this, with one Pokemon left, my poor Charmander, who had one hit point left. I spent the whole time going, Ugh, I'm gonna lose because you're at such a, an advantage than me. And I ended up winning, and that shows that even if you think you're gonna do bad at something, you shouldn't hold out on yourself because you might surprise yourself. And that's everything, and I only have a little bit of time to do this, so thank you for watching, you lovely internet folk, and I shall catch you on the flip side. Goodbye!